not commence its New Year's feast. I will join you once you have told me a tale of a fantastic feat. Who is the commander of this court? I am Arthur, head of this house. Dismount and dine I with us. I have not come to eat. I come in peace to test your reputation in a Christmas game. I offer this axe to any of you to deal me one blow, on condition that I can counter that blow in a year and a day. Am I in Arthur's house? Is this the noble band of the bravest knights? Your request is foolish, sir, and there are no fools here to grant it. Give me your axe and I will administer your blow. My lord, this is not right. Let me be the one to take the risk. As your nephew, I owe my position here to my blood, not my virtue. I would be the least lost to your court. God be with you, Gawain. Wield your one stroke well, and you need not fear him. Who now consents to my contest? My name is Gawain. Ah, Sir Gawain. I am grateful. Promise you will approach me alone in a year and a day for me to present my blood. Who are you? And where will I find you? I will tell you after you have struck me. And if I am speechless, then you can stay safe at home. Now take up the axe. Gladly, sir. Remember your promise, Gawain. I am the Knight of the Green Chapel. Greet me there next New Year's morning, and I will repay you. Come, or be called a coward. <laughs> well, that was a marvel to suit the moment. More than enough to make me hungry. Hang up the axe, Sir Gawain. It's hewn enough for one day. When will you go? After Halloween. Gawain, take this shield and trust in its protection. Here, in pure gold, the pentangle, ancient symbol of the perfect knight. Fasten your faith on its five features. Stay pure in mind and in body. Trust in God and in Mary. And keep the five virtues of a knight. Generosity, fellowship, chastity, Courtesy and compassion. Godspeed, Gawain. And let Mary, Mother of God, be your perpetual strength and your guide. I beseech you, gentle Mary, guide me to where I may glorify the gift of your Son. Ho there! 
sir, I seek shelter. Convey my request to your master. Aye, St. Peter, I will. Welcome. I am Bertila. Lodge with us for as long as you wish. Thank you. I will stay just long enough to rest. My servants will see to your needs. Join us at midnight mass and meet my wife. My lady. Sir Gawain, through you, we have been honored to host the court of King Arthur. Your hospitality humbles me. Consider me your servant, to do as you ask. But I must leave tomorrow. On New Year's Day, I must be at a green chapel. I would rather die than fail to find it. Ah, oh, forget failure. The green chapel is not far from here. So stay. Be our companion for three more days, and then a guide will show you the way. I must thank you again. Excellent. Now, remember what you said, that you would do as I asked. I am your servant, sir. Now more than ever. Then study what I suggest. Tomorrow, whilst I hunt, you rest. Rise and eat when you want. My wife will keep you company till I return. Agreed? Let's make another bargain. Whatever I win in the woods becomes yours. And what you collect in the castle comes to me. We exchange our winnings in the evening. Well, if that's how you play, sir, it's my pleasure too. Then let's drink to it! What I win, you win. And what I win, you win. Come, or be called a coward. Sir Gawain. Can I have caught you? Caught me? Caught me unaware, dear lady. I've trapped a knight of King Arthur's court. If you would let me dress, we could converse in comfort. The hunt left hours ago. The household is asleep. The door's locked. You'll be more comfortable here. I know ladies who would lose their gold to be in my place with a man whose reputation is so revered. Madam, you are most generous, but you flatter me, because like Mary, you see good in everything and everyone. Then let us speak of what is good. From what I've heard, no man alive would make a better husband. Save your spouse, my most hospitable host whose generosity is matched only by your own. I am at your service, madam, as your knight. And I am at yours, as your lady. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps you don't deserve your reputation after all. Lady? Sir Gawain of legend, if he'd lain so long with a lady, would have claimed an excuse. For a kiss. It was never my intention to insult you. I am your knight. I kiss at your command. May God be with you.
Mr. Gawain, you remember our bargain? I do. All this is for you. As fine a feast of flesh as I've seen for years. And this is for you. <laughs> Your kiss is finer than my kill. Tell me, good Sir Gawain, how did you procure such a prize? We said we'd swap what we win, not share how we work. Sir Gawain, that's good. So, let's drink and dine. The same again? You mean our bargain? Tomorrow. Why not? Good morning. Oh, I think it will be. But have you lost sight of yesterday's lesson? What? A courteous knight must kiss his lady. But if I'd offered and you'd objected? You could have used coercion. Where I come from, a man doesn't grab what isn't given. But I am offering. Then I was wrong. I am yours to kiss. Talk to me about love. Is it pain or pleasure for you? It seems to me whatever shape love fashions, its shadow shifts. So what else can I say? Twice I've come to you whilst my husband's away to learn about love. But though you speak many words, they do not mean much. Do you think I'm not clever enough? No. I, I mean, yes, you are. But who am I to teach you? The knights of renown were never so restrained. Why is mine permanently polite? Would you rather I was rude? <laughs> Sir Gawain, you have an answer for everything. I've never seen so much meat on a single beast. And there's still fury in his face. You can hang your armor on those tusks, Sir Gawain. <laughs> and because of our bargain, it belongs to you. In return, I give you all I gained. <laughs> and I believed my beast couldn't be bettered. <laughs> <laughs> Your meat is mouth-watering. Did you know my kisses could taste so good? Nothing nicer has ever passed my lips. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Let's mark it with one more bargain. That's a deal I must decline. Tomorrow I must make my way to the Green Chapel. But the chapel is only two miles from here. Leave at dawn and be there before you see the circle of the sun. Stay one more day. Trust me, as I have twice trusted you. No. Sir Gawain. I think it will be. Your last day with us. We must make it memorable. My last day. I chose this gown for you. Do you like what you see, Sir Gawain? I love it. But I fear it may be bad for both of us. Then let us lie together.
love another? Tell me the truth. I won't lie. I swear I love no other lady. Living. Oh, I bared my feelings, but you attacked my heart. Kiss me and I will go. A keepsake could console me. Some simple souvenir. Your gloves, perhaps? Whatever I own is unworthy of you. Then let me leave the love token. Lady, since I cannot give to you, I will not take from you. What I have here is of little worth. Your kindness comforts me. But I can accept nothing until... until after tomorrow. It looks like nothing, doesn't it? But it has a virtue that even you might value. If an honest man wears this, he cannot be killed. Nothing can harm him. Please, it will ease my grief. Then I accept, for my sake. So promise, for my sake. You will keep our contract hidden from my husband. You have my word. No one will know. Welcome back, my lord. Warm yourself. Let me be the first to fulfill our bargain. By Christ, my spoils are like ice compared to the warmth of your winnings. I've hunted all day for this dismal fox fur. Pour me a drink. And I'll tell you how Reynard finally fell into my trap. Tomorrow at dawn I must go to the Green Chapel. And as I promised, I will give you a guide. May the Lord God reward you. This is near enough for me, sir. No one Priest a pauper passes his way and prevails. For pity's sake, go some other way. I let no one know. You counsel cowardice, but I discern dishonor for a night. And farewell, noble Gawain. God guide you on your route. Ride to the end and look to your left. You kept your word, Gawain, and I'll keep mine. Take off your helmet. It's time to reverse our role. You flinched. I did, but won't again. Even when my head fell at my feet, I didn't flinch. I must be the braver man. But if my head falls, I cannot fit it on again. Finish it, now! No flinching, eh? You are a true knight. Are you heartless or fearful? We'll see. <sighs> You've had your strike, sir. 
Abandon your axe and fight on fairer terms. I've served a single blow, as agreed. My axe cannot harm an honest man. The first two feints of the axe were for dealing decently with your host. But on the third day, you were not so honest. And for that, I gave you a glancing blow. That girdle you are wearing, Gawain, belongs to your host. But it would be churlish to blame you for choosing to cheat death. Take the token of my treachery. My cowardice caused me to become the very thing I hate the most. A traitor and a deceiver. I concede these sins before you and submit to my penance. <laughs> you have paid the price, and your confession has made you clean. Take this sash as a memento of your challenge of the Green Chapel. I will take it and wear it, as a reminder of my shame. But who are you? What gives you this knowledge? <laughs> Trust me. It's... it's you, Bertilak! Did your wife warn you? I sent her in secret to test you. How you both must have laughed. Come back and make peace with her. You have earned our love. Was everyone in on your Christmas game? Only the one who devised the ordeal. Let me know his name. Her name is Morgan Le Fay, though it's Merlin's magic she uses. Morgan? King Arthur's sister? The very same. And your elderly escort at my court. And it was Morgan Le Fay, your sister, who conjured the Green Knight to test the reputation of the Round Table. Morgan! And my shame is as sharp now as it was at the Green Chapel when the wound was fresh. I shall forever wear this sash as a symbol of my scarred honor. But the honor of the Round Table is intact. Gawain preserved it. He feels his failure because he measures himself against the perfection of the pentangle. Yet he remains the most perfect of us all. To save his life, he broke a promise. To save my life, I let him take my place. Since we cannot attain Gawain's perfection, let each and every one of us assume his sash of shame. And let the Green Knight's game serve Gawain's fame.